Hi, just another quick one. Um, I'm not saying this is true or accurate or anything like that. I'm not making any claims. This is for entertainment purposes only. Um, so if there's any community guidelines or all like that, I'm not claiming anything to be true or real or anything else. It's just for entertainment purposes only. It's from a, a, something called Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars. I might do some more on this, but I'm going to do some on um, Plato's Republic as well. I've just bought the book, um, which is coming in the post in the next few days. I've just bought this Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars in paperback form as well, so I've got that hard copy. Um, but I'm just going to go down to, um, in a minute, I'm just going to go down to page 7. Energy. Um, we're just going to go down to the bit. All science is merely a means to an end. The means is knowledge, the end is control. Beyond this remains only one issue, who will be the beneficiary? In 1954, this was the issue of primary concern. Although the so-called moral issues were raised, in view of the law of natural selection, it was agreed that a nation or world of people who will not use their intelligence are no better than animals who do not have intelligence. Such people are beasts of burden and stakes on the table by choice and consent. Um... And then it goes on about um, war against the American public. But it's not just the American public, it's all over the world. Um, I want to have a look at... Um, there's another bit somewhere. That's a bit further down. In order to, to achieve a totally predictable economy, the low-class elements of society must be brought under total control i.e. must be housebroken, trained and assigned a yoke and long-term social duties from a very early age before they have an opportunity to question the proprietary of the matter. In order to achieve such conformity, the lower class family unit must be disintegrated by a process of increasing preoccupation of the parents and the establishment of government operated daycare centres for the occupationally orphaned children. The quality of education given to the lower class must be of the poorest sort so that the moat of ignorance isolating and inf the inferior class from the superior class is, is and remains incomprehensible to the inferior class. With such an initial handicap, even bright lower class individuals have little if any hope of ex ex extricating themselves from their assigned lot in life. This form of slavery is essential to maintain some measure of social order, peace and tranquillity for the upper ruling class. That's all I'm going to do today. Um, I'm going to do some more later. All right, thanks for listening. Goodbye.